Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. All right, I've got a very special video and it seems very appropriate to show it today because hopefully by now, most of you have had an opportunity to see No Time to Die. There may be some, some folks in Australia that haven't seen it yet, I'm so sorry. Really, no spoilers you know, that are overt and plot point in this particular video, but it is a location video. And we're so lucky to have this video, and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. This video that you're seeing today was filmed way back in February of 2021. Yes, way, 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 way back in the beginning of the year. And I was very, very fortunate to be with a gentleman who, really, it was by happen chance, he happened to be my tour guide for the Jamaican Tourism Board, and then found out during my earlier travels with him that he worked on No Time to Die doing many of the location logistics. And so he knew a lot of the locations of where they were filmed, even some of the quieter ones that you haven't really seen before behind the scenes. So that's what this video is. We're gonna tour those. Now, a little bit of an asterisk with this. There, the sound gets a little bit wonky. We're in the field, it's guerrilla warfare. You're gonna see me covered in sweat. It was so hot and humid and there was no air conditioning and the windows were rolled down. And there are moments where the camera's shaking. This is, this is guerrillas in the mist warfare type filming, meaning I'm just going like this. There are places we had to film very quickly. So there's not a lot of like, you know, good smooth edits. There was busy types of towns where trucks are careening just about hitting me. Yeah, it's one of those videos. So if you're patient with it, I think you're going to see some beautiful vistas and we'll come back in the end to talk a little bit more about it. Check it out. Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. We are heading down the road here because we're off on an adventure. And listen, Fleming said it best, never say no to adventure. So how could I say no when I met my tour guide for today? Purely by accident, we were on a James Bond Jamaican tourist board trip. He was the driver and one of the tour guides. And I found out he's got a little bit of history. Yes, um, just this movie I've been hearing about called No Time to Die. And today he and I are going to explore the No Time to Die locations in Jamaica. Okay, I'm here with Ziggy and again, found out purely by accident. I, I got into a van to do a, uh, a guided tour and found out that this gentleman auspiciously worked for No Time to Die, the movie. Ziggy, what did you do for the movie? Well, I do transportation and location. And I've seen your badge. We'll show a shot of your badge. Unbelievable. You've got to tell us a story. Like, how did this even come about? Did you get a phone call? Well, yes, I did get a phone call, but I worked in the film industry for years, over 22 years I've been in the film industry. Worked in a lot of movie, a lot of projects, you know, a lot of productions. So I'm very good at transportation and location, so I got a call to work on the Bond film. And when you say transportation and location for the uninitiated, what does that mean? Are you, are you literally taking people back and forth, but or are you also scouting for locations? Yes, that's the first process. We scout for locations find the locations for the production and also do the transportation of the crew and uh, the production people, everything we do. And you very often have to speak to the individuals at these locations, you know, introduce them that you know, they're going to be potentially part of a Bond film, negotiations, things along that line. Yes, we do all of that, right? And you know, sometimes it's kind of difficult because some people, at, at that time, we can't literally tell them that it was a, a Bond film that we're going to be doing, you know, because we have to sign an NDA, so we can't tell people what exactly we're, we're there for. And then some people, after they found out, you know, it, it poses, a, it causes a problem. Ah, okay, okay. So there, there are certain restrictions, obviously, that have to be met, secrecy, things along those lines. But um, for you, as a lifelong Bond fan, how excited were you for the potential of Bond to come back to Jamaica? Wow, it was like a dream came true for me. It was so awesome. I was so excited to work on that project. You know, it, 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 that's the biggest project I've, I've ever, work, ever worked on in all my entire life and in and all my entire career in the film industry. 
Well, it had to be a highlight. Now, how long did you work on the movie? Well, I literally, uh, it's, it's like for three months, I worked for three months on it, you know, because, you know, we have to, like, prep, you know, scout and everything for that, for that project. And, of course, I have to ask you a total geek question, but <laughs> did, you, uh, did you meet any of the stars of the movie? Well, I met, I met Daniel once, you know, um, I was moving his RV um, from one spot to another spot, you know, and he was inside of it, so, you know, and that's where I met him. Wonderful. My gosh, so exciting. All right, buckle up, everybody. We're going to head to the locations. And where do most of the locations actually take place? It's in the parish of Portland, Port Antonio. That's where most of the, the, the shoot take place, and we did, we did a part in Kingston as well. Wonderful. We're heading there now, folks. Okay, this was a site of a scene right here where a helicopter was chasing a seaplane. And they put wheels on the seaplane for some mysterious reason. We'll find out when we see the movie. So Ziggy's been a wealth of information. Explained that there's wheels because it took off from this particular runway. So what's the name of this bridge? It's called the Rio Grande Bridge. This river is called the Rio Grande River, hmm. right? But this is an old bridge. If you look over there, that's the new one they replaced this one with. Ah, yes. Right. So is this just a walking bridge now at this point? Right. It's just a pedestrian bridge yeah. now. Yeah. I'm not sure what it was, but I know it's a, it's a boat scene, and they had the helicopter with the cameras overhead. Ah, OK. There. And the boat went underneath. Right, and the boat went underneath from there. Come here. So that's what did. Ah, do, you, do you remember what kind of boat it was? It was some small boats, but I, I, I couldn't say exactly because I hardly on the like locations like this now when they're shooting. But I know when, when I got here, I so saw they, they're here with small boats on the water, the helicopter with a camera, and they have camera rigged on the bridge as well. Wow. So it could be just even a couple seconds in the movie. Who right, knows? right. Could be a couple seconds. And although sometimes they scrap scenes like those things, they you know, do. They, they but do. Whatever. Because Cutting room floor, right? Right, right. Exactly. This, 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 this was our main base camp. Ah, okay. Main base camp was in here. So Coast Guard okay. Base Station. Right over this side, it belongs to the, the Jamaica, the government, the military. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And so this area would have been used for the Cuba scenes. Right. This area would be for the Cuba scenes. Ah. This area where, where, where we, would, we, we would have all container mobile homes. homes. Um, Daniel, Daniel um, Craig, who would park here? Ah, okay, his RV. His RV would park right here. So he could easily get to right. the bay. Right, and, and these fences were, were, were removed so we could walk in easily. Ah, all right. Right, so there, they had all murals painted on the walls and everything behind there. Like, so it looked just like Cuba, right? And also next door, next door. I don't think we can get access to it because it belongs, sure. it belongs to the Port Authority. But over there. Over there, yep. Yeah. yeah, so this area would have all... They transformed it into Cuba, right. basically. And, and huge activities, all containers. Wow. Here, a lot of trucks and buses and vans. So this would be our main, main base camp for the James Bond project. Very right cool. Hey, that's and, and that's probably going to be a very here, identifiable. Here, here is also a, a, a scene that they did a scene right here where it would look like 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 a plane flying through, flying underneath this building. Right a here. plane flying underneath right, the building. Right. That oh my gosh. Right, that, right. So here was a was a set as well. Wow. Right. Okay, that's amazing. Let me take a couple pictures. And port. And obviously they were. They removed everything. Yes, they removed everything. And then you could see 
it goes right out into the bay, right? Right, exactly. And and they did they did, they did a lot of scene on the sea out there, which I, I couldn't see what they did what what they did, but I know they they were they, doing they, a lot. They, right, they did a lot out there, and a lot of explosions and stuff happened. So Amazing. And you could you could stay out here and hear them bloom. <laughs> Blue now is this is that the area out there where they also had the blue angel then yes yes ah okay right. okay very identifiable shot right here where the land rover comes around and you see this particular background you can see it's a busy busy square just like you see in the film itself exact very identifiable and, uh, oh they filmed on a weekend yeah, right? on a Sunday yeah, it's the only way that and, you could really do this. And, um, and, on the, and on the public holiday, which was the Easter. Ah, okay. It was the, the, the Easter weekend, where the town was literally empty. Did all the shops have to close? Well, yeah, yes, well, but what they did, they, they negotiated with the people for the shops and paid them. They paid them money. Okay. Right, to keep the door closed. Which makes sense. Right. So they, they that's what they did with the people. They give them money to keep their door closed and so people will walk into the shop to them. I'll tell you it looks exactly like it does in the trailer. Yeah, yes, yes. Same thing. And so this area represented Jamaica still, that market square. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And I guess the whole point was that Bond in the movie doesn't live too far from here. No, it's not. So we're, we're actually going to, to, to his house now. It's like minutes away from here. Oh, wow. So we're going to go to that location shortly. We're right here. F facing towards Piggies. Oh, they did? Okay. Yeah, they did the was, was it just him driving or something? Yes, or? it was like a driving scene. Ah, Small okay. Driving scene. We'll have to look, to look for that. Did some boat scenes out there. Out there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, out there. That's where they did the boat scenes. Yeah, they, did, they did a boat scene out there. I'm not sure which one it was. Ah, okay. In the movie, but they did it out there. Very cool. All right. So this is the area we call Funny. This road, go all the way up. This bumpy road. And look at the background. Right. Oh my gosh. Mm. You almost need a Land Rover. <laughs> right. Because the road is very is bumpy. So they did it like as if it's a very rural area or something. Ah, uh, okay. Off road. Everybody's getting a like a virtual reality version of what Bond would have been going through. Right. Exactly. And military. This right. is where they have the cameras. Right, so this is where they set up and they rig all the cameras oh, in the wow. vehicle. Back and forth, shoot back and forth. Oh, okay, so they had them coming and going type right. thing. back and forth, right. Was it Daniel Craig driving it? Yes, he was the one that was driving it. Nice. It, this here is called Sand Sand. Yep. And we're close to where the, the bond house bond house was. And um, and then the, the right turn go up that's that would that would take it to where um, Daniel Craig stays, where his villa is. Coco Sand Villa is very nice. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so we're actually here at Coco Walk now. This is the entrance to Coco Walk. This gate right here. Where, where the bundles was down on the beach, mm. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check if we can. If we can find something. So, heading down the path, so this would be Coco Walk here. Right, this is Coco Walk where the bundles was down on the beach. Right, so this is the, this is the driveway there, the pathway. 
So all the production vehicles had to come down here. Well, and that's, that's all, yeah. that's the, most of the car to the road because it's, it's limited space here. Right. And you know, like, um, Daniel's vehicles would be here and, you know, all those vehicles. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay, so this yeah. is where you would go down and right. everything. So the house, the house was built behind that, that tree there, you can see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Behind that tree over there, that's where the house is built. This is the stairs that the production company built mm. to walk down there to access the air. Right. So they can see the block stuff because... Yes, block there's block been some curiosity people. seekers. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So the house was built behind that tree there. Wow. So this is the closest we can get. Yeah, of course. Right. So this would be the view then that he had yeah. looking out would right. be onto this bed. Right. 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 So this area is Kukua. Okay, from Bond's home. Hello, doggy. Hello. From Bond's home, he would look down this way and you see a couple of shots and these are very identifiable tree lines that you see in oh gosh loads of images in the trailers etc and ziggy so they would shoot down this way right right they would shoot the end from the man house and you see in the background you can see all those clips and stuff in the background yes is this bay called anything in particular well no and now that i know if i know this area is called san 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 Right. Right, and where the Bond house is built, they call it Kokowa. And you can see why Bond would want to set up a house here. I mean, it's absolutely scenic and beautiful. It captures right. Jamaica. Right. So from this vantage point, you can actually see right. exactly where Bond's home would be. Exactly right there. Yeah. But because of the energy I don't know that, but it's exactly in that point. Yes. Right down there. The now, correct me if I'm wrong, the production said, obviously we need to remove everything. They removed everything. There's no part of the house left. No, no part of the house is left. They, they, they it. Right. Every nail, every piece of wood. Every nail, every piece of wood was removed. They, they gave it to the crew. They shared it up to the crew. As they should, as they should. Amazing, but an incredible location. Uh, private, so obviously, you know, you can't visit, but you can enjoy it from afar like this and, and really see what Bond encountered, right? Right, definitely. Okay, what an incredible day. I mean, un unbelievable, really. Port Antonio is such an amazing place. And by the way, Ziggy, you were saying that um, the filmmaker, the director, Kerry Fukunaga, really fell in love with the place. Yes, he fell in love with Port Antonio, the minute he said Port Antonio, because he spoke to all of it and that's where he fell in love with it. Guess who else fell in love with it? I did. It was amazing. Your stories, um, your your location discussions, everything was fantastic. Thank you so much for this amazing tour. Thank you. You're most welcome. Right? And it was a little token, a gift for me to do from, uh, from the people of Jamaica. All right? Oh my Good gosh. Help. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh, we've got hats in here. And Is this a crew shirt? Yes, this is the crew shirt from the bun. Uh, I'm going to have to get some close-up pictures of this. Yes. You are so kind. Thank you so much. Ziggy, thank you. You're welcome. And please come again. And you can tell all your friends and all the, the, the band fans. Yeah. You can have them come whenever they want. They're always welcome in Jamaica. You can take them there anytime they want. Guess what? I think you just told them. All so right. they're going to come and see you, Ziggy. Great. All right. <laughs> all right. This has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. And we'll see you all real soon. All right. Take care. One love. Big One up. love. <laughs> Okay, I had to run back to the room just to see, obviously, everything that's in here. I got a Jamaica Heartbeat of the World bag, but you just saw a hint of what he's given me. First of all, a couple of things. I want to give deference. Some wonderful Jamaica hats. These are super cool. Danielle will be fighting over those. And this is insane. So it's a... Karmakula, and it is numbered in size and code. You know we get into the de details. Super soft. It almost feels like a, a Hawaiian shirt, but we know it's not a Hawaiian shirt because it is um, got some very interesting markings on it. For example, there is the boat on the back of the neck that 
that Ziggy was talking about, the one that has, uh, it flies over the boat, something happens, it takes off on that airport that we saw, and I'm trying to see if there's any other mark, yes, on the sleeve, on the left sleeve, 007 and the Jamaican flag. Okay, this has got to be one of the coolest crew shirts I have ever seen in my life, and it's very Jamaican. Hold on one second. There was a note inside. We gotta read the note, so let's read the note. Thank you for being an important part of the Bond 25 shoot in Port Antonio and Kingston, May through June of 2019. Please accept this gift as a small token of appreciation for all your hard work, We're talking about Ziggy and his team, in helping us to add a new chapter to the James Bond legacy here in Jamaica. Blessings, the producer, cast, and production team of Bond 25. So for Ziggy to give me one of these is so dear and so sweet, and this is what I meant. A location is a wonderful thing. It's an environment, it's a spot. But then when you add it to the incredible people that make these things happen, the skills that they have, the experience that they have, but like he said, the one love that they have. I mean, this he just met me a few days ago and he's giving me this very special gift. He had extras, I didn't take his only one. Don't get mad at me. Um, but just to do that is just, it's a humbling experience, it really is. I wanted to share that with you. Okay, now I've gotta go. Okay, just a quick one here, uh, because you already saw the ending, you already saw the conclusion. This was just amazing. Uh, it was my first time back in Jamaica in a long time, back in February when we did this, and we were so thrilled. It was such a, an unusual thing to see locations of a film that you haven't even seen the film. There's no, there's no relevance to it yet. Now that I've seen the film, I can see so many of those different areas, you know, Piggies and, and the Market Square, um, the, the different hangar where they had all the, the Cuban uh, posters, and of course, Coco Walk, that, that beautiful, absolutely iconic postcard-like area where Bond builds his home. You can see it now in the film. Now that I've seen the film, this video has so much more meaning to me, and so does Jamaica. It always is. The people, the land, absolutely amazing. All right. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.